What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. 3D is coming and it's coming quick. And the latest addition to the glasses-free stereoscopic 3D craze is this guy right here, the LG Thrill, coming sometime in the coming weeks for AT&T Wireless. Let's go ahead, dig in. So regardless of what you think about 3D technology, whether you love it, hate it, or totally ambivalent, uh, there's very little denying the appeal of this phone. It is a fully specced super phone coming in at a $99 price point, uh, which really puts it in a class by itself. So this came right from the folks at LG, letting me know it's active, and I'm letting you know that the phone is texturally active. So practice safe texting. Go ahead and pull that thing off. That means it just has a SIM card in here. So here is the LG Thrill. Let you know there's a new little 3D icon right there in all the boxes. LG Thrill, what's in it, picture of the device, and all kinds of other stuff. But it's more fun instead of reading what's in the box, actually look what's in the box. So I'll go ahead and open it up. AT&T logo. Welcome to AT&T Quick Start Guide. And here is the LG Thrill with smudge marks on the screen. Looks like the PR folks put in the SIM card went like this when they did it. We're gonna push this off to the side for just one quick moment. And while I do push it off to the side, I will boot it up, see if the battery's got a charge. And it does. All right, so that will boot up. Let's see what else we got in the box. I had a chance to take a look at this guy uh, two weeks ago when I was in New York. Um, and I was came away pretty impressed with the 3D uh, on here in it. So you've got your plug into the wall charger with the USB port, blah, 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 pretty standard. We've got a micro USB charging cable, pretty standard. And this guy, not so standard for inclusion in the box. This is actually the uh, HDMI data cable. So it's mini HDMI to standard HDMI. Um, it's nice that uh, AT&T and LG included this. So this comes standard with a $99 phone. You get the HDMI cable, uh, which generally can run you 20 or 30 bucks for you to buy it separately for a phone that doesn't have it. So all right, enough of the accessories. Let's push all that business off to the side. And here is the LG Thrill. Let's go ahead and step in a little bit closer. Come into, come into my office. All right, so let me run through the specs real quickly of this guy. That was probably a crazy zoom when you're all super uh, nauseous right now. Slide up to unlock. Hey, look at that. We slid up to unlocked, and the SIM is not provisioned. All right, whatever that means. Okay, so let me run through the specs real quickly. It is a 4.3 inch screen. It's always measured diagonally. It's a TFT display. The resolution of 480 by 800. It is running Android 2.2, not 2.3. Uh, presumably 2.3 will be coming. Uh, the LG folks told me so, uh, but they didn't give a time frame for it. Uh, it does have a dual core processor. It is a Texas Instruments built dual core chip uh, with one gigahertz on each core. Uh, it's got 512 megabytes of RAM, uh, eight gigabytes of storage space inside. Of course, you can throw in a micro SD card, 32 gigs and up that to 40. Uh, on the back, I don't know which one it is. One of these is a five megapixel uh, rear facing camera, uh, which can shoot video at 1080p. Uh, it can record obviously in 3D. I always think that the stereoscopic 3D cameras with the two and the flash in the middle, always kind of look like a robot face. I always want to put like a little smiley face right there. Um, but it does have that. It's got, in addition to that, a VGA front facing camera, uh, micro USB 2.0 and all the rest of the stuff you'd expect being powered by a 1500 milliamp hour battery. So let's do a quick tour and walk through. I'll zoom out a little bit more, a little slower this time, so I don't make anybody sick. Uh, let's see what we got on the device. So on the left-hand side, there's where all your ports live under doors. There's your charging port, micro USB, which is now standard. There's that HDMI port where the cable is going to be included. Go ahead and slide all those doors back. Nothing else lives here on the left-hand side. You might confuse those for the volume rocker, so you gotta get used to the phone. Uh, on the right hand side, there are the volume rockers. Uh, you can see it a little bit smaller, um, but there are two of them for up and down, obviously. Uh, microphone on the bottom, on the top, 3.5 millimeter headset jack, and the power and lock button in the upper right hand corner. Uh, that's my preferred location. I'm just used to sort of hitting it there. Uh, but that's definitely sort of me. Uh, might vary with you. This is being called the Thrill 4G. It does have support for HSPA Plus. Uh, so if you're in an HSPA Plus area, um, you should get some faster download speeds. Uh, the back is sort of a soft touch rubber feel, a big AT&T logo. This is metal, it is not a kickstand, it's just sort of a nice little accent, I suppose. Speaker grill, letting you know it's stereoscopic, 
and then there are the two little cameras. Uh, so this guy brings some unique stuff to the table. And whether or not you're interested in 3D or not interested in 3D, um, just from a phone specification standpoint, this is a pretty powerful phone, and the 3D is just sort of an added bonus, and you're getting all this for $99. Uh, you're looking at this and compare it to something like the Evo 3D, uh, which can run you about $200, uh, depending on where you get it, sometimes a little bit less. Uh, you're getting a pretty nice value here. Uh, so it is Android 2.2, and LG has done a little bit of tweaks to it. So if you do your little pinch to zoomy thing here, you can go ahead and move around all the screens, or you can see all the screens, and you can do what you want with them. Um, so a little trash can as you hold it, do that one more time, click it, and there's a little trash can. So of course you can just drag that to it uh, if you want. Uh, you can also rearrange icons and add icons. Let's go to a screen that doesn't have that much on here. There we go. If you hold it down, you get sort of a grid view in the background. Hopefully you can see that on camera. And you get some of the stuff that you can do. So finance and all the rest of these sort of LG uh, little tweaks here. Social, and there's some kind of customization. Uh, that LG has done to it and the standard stuff. So you got widgets, shortcuts, folders, or wallpapers. We'll go ahead and exit out of this. Let me go ahead and show you this 3D space. And obviously the 3D is not going to translate and you're not going to see 3D. Uh, but this does do some kind of cool things here. So the resolution on this is 480 by 800. It's not the highest resolution screen. Uh, this might be an instance of where a lower resolution is actually better. Uh, stereoscopic 3D, so you're going to have little larger pixels. Uh, so text might not be as crisp and as clear as other phones, but that larger pixels are actually going to make the stereoscopic effect uh, pop out a little bit better. And you can actually see it when you use the phone. The 3D here, well, I wouldn't use 3D all the time. <laughs> it's still probably a little bit of a, of a gimmick. Um, this is probably the best implementation I've seen of stereoscopic 3D. Uh, so LG's got, at least for whoever knows how long, uh, an exclusive with YouTube 3D. So you can film video in 3D on this, and you can upload it directly to YouTube uh, 3D, as opposed to having to take a video, send it to your computer, and then from your computer go to uh, YouTube. So 3D Guide, so I don't even know what that is. Let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, creating, viewing, and sharing, and connecting. So that's where you get all your 3D content. I should also mention, too, that there are four capacitor buttons here on the bottom. Typical Android ones, you've got your menu, and they light up when you touch them, home, back, and search. Uh, 3D games and apps. This is going to take you to well, 3D games and apps. I believe it comes going to come preloaded uh, with some games. Uh, so you've got Asphalt, Nova, Let's Golf, Movies, and Gulliver's Tea. I'm assuming is Gulliver's Travel. So you can see some gaming games here. There are 3D games that are going to come preloaded on your device. Let's go ahead and go back. 3D camera. You can guess what that is. 3D gallery and YouTube 3D. Any questions you guys want to see of the thrill? You know, be sure to let me know. Uh, let me do a real quick size comparison for you. Uh, here it is with its AT&T Stablemate, the iPhone 4. Go ahead and stack these side by side. Uh, this is by no means a light phone. It certainly has a little bit of uh, junk in its trunk. Uh, it's not too heavy to carry it around, but it's not the thinnest phone on the block. Here is another 4.3 inch device. This is the HD7S, uh, also for AT&T. If you've ever seen one of these guys, you should get a good sense of what the LG Thrill 4G looks like. Almost identical, the Thrill definitely being a little bit heavier. And uh, finally, the uh, last phone, here is the HTC Status. You can see these two guys next to each other. And kaboom. So there you go, unboxing of the LG Thrill. Uh, it's gonna be available sometime in the coming weeks uh, for that $99 price point. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you guys, or talk to you at least, in the next video.